These are sad and startling statistics. According to the Washington Post, 40 percent of all food in the U.S. goes uneaten. And households, grocery stores and restaurants discard $165 billion worth of food annually. Those numbers become even more alarming when you consider that about 50 million Americans are food insecure, meaning they don't have a reliable source of nutritious and affordable food. Activist Rob Greenfield is determined to change those numbers and to help create a world that's happier and healthier. Rob knows firsthand the sustenance that discarded food provides. In 2013, he consumed some 280 pounds of food from grocery store dumpsters, and he continues to rescue wasted food day in and day out. Determined to lead by his own sustainable lifestyle, we joined Greenfield as he took a dive in the name of ending hunger and food waste. percent of all consumer goods that are produced are in the landfill after six months, if you can believe that. So what that means is we're filling our landfills, we're filling holes in the ground. A lot of it ends up in the ocean, in the environments. Animals eat it. It pollutes our oceans. Um, so the bottom line solution is create only what needs to be created and use what the earth can provide that's naturally produced. I've decided that I just really want to simplify my life so that I can dedicate my time to being of benefit to the earth and benefit to myself really, not bogging myself down with all this stuff I don't need. So I canceled most of my bills. It took some time. And now the only bill I have is my cell phone, which is $60 a month. And uh, the only possessions I have are my bike, I have some solar panels, a, a water purifier, uh, some clothes, enough that fit into a box. Um, I've just found that the more simply I live, the more freely I live. Last year I was biking across America to raise awareness about sustainability and I had rules for the resources I could use. And my rule was for food I could eat local, organic, unpackaged food. So basically food straight from the farms. But as many people know, there's food deserts all across America, which means there's not good quality, healthy food. So my exception was I could eat out of dumpsters. So I started to look into America's dumpsters and what I found after a short amount of time was that dumpster after dumpster after dumpster, they're all full of perfectly good food. Hunt's pasta sauce unopened. A little stuff down here. That one's fine. So I've been in over 800 dumpsters Not across food. America and I've probably eaten out of three to 500 of them myself. And I've never been sick off of dumpster food once. Milk, cold, let's find out. That's perfectly good milk, wow. And I think a big part of that is that I take care of myself with healthy food um, and with proper sleep and diet. And by doing that, my immune system is very strong. Whoa. Well, I personally stick to a plant-based diet, so lots of fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds, and I avoid all uh, animal products, so meat, dairy, eggs. So in the dumpster, I, I personally just mostly eat fruits and vegetables and grains. 
One squished one. The rest are good. Organically grown. You can tell when something's bad when it's bulgy. Uh, visually, if something's bloated, if a package is bloated, then there's been fermentation, so stay away from that. Good looking cheese. If it's looking off colored, stay away from that. November 19th. The dates on packages, they mean nothing. It's whether the food is still good, and you can look at it and you can see that. These are perfectly good apples. Halfway into my first trip across the country, I learned, oh wow, there's the Good Samaritan Food Act, which was signed in 1996, which actually protects grocery stores and caterers and restaurants if they donate the food to uh, a nonprofit. They're actually encouraged to donate the food to nonprofit. Giant bags of bread. Then I found a study by the University of Arkansas which shows that not a single grocery store or distributor of food has ever been sued after donating food to a nonprofit. It's pretty much a no-brainer to donate the food as long as it's still good, and that is if you care about more than profit. My goal isn't to empty one dumpster at a time here and there. My goal is to prevent millions of pounds of food from ever ending up in the dumpsters. So of course this is way more food than I can eat. The reason I'm collecting it is because I'm hosting a public demonstration for the people to come see how much perfectly good food is going to waste. For example, I can rattle off the numbers, $165 billion worth of food is thrown away per year. But for most people, those mean very little. Seeing a trunk full of bread or seeing a park full of food, that's how people understand it and that's what I'm showing America. So a food waste fiasco is where I collect a huge bounty of perfectly good food and then I set it up at a public place where anybody can come and see it and I invite the media so that they can spread the word even more. Uh, after leaving it out on display for a little while, if people want to take it home and eat it, they can. I'd be a little sad if my work comes to the point where there's no food left in the dumpsters. I'd be sad for the dumpster divers, putting them out of business, but I'd be extremely happy because that would mean we wouldn't be wasting all the water, the energy, the transportation, the time, the love that's going into this food and then ending up in the dumpsters. So what I want to see is I want to see no food in the dumpsters, and I really believe that's going to happen in my youth. Obviously, I do a lot of really crazy stuff. I've, I've biked across America on a bamboo tw bike twice. I've gone a year without taking a shower, got a vasectomy at the age of 25, uh, have eaten out of 800 dumpsters across America. I've done a lot of pretty extreme things, but my message isn't be extreme and do extreme things. It's take what you can out of this. Take the little things that you can out of this to adapt into your own life as you see fit. So I'm, I'm eating out of dumpsters so that you can simply learn to not waste food or to shop at your local farmer's market. So my message is simple. I'm the crazy guy, you don't have to be. <laughs>